All right, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be doing an introduction into non-homogeneous equations, particularly the particular solution. So uh, we're going to be looking at the second order equations of this form. So this, this is just a generalized form right here. Y double prime plus some function of T times Y prime plus another function of T times Y is equal to some function F of T. So this does not equal zero. So it is non-homogeneous. And we're gonna take a look at how we are going to go about solving these. So what we're going to do is we are going to express our final solution as the homogeneous solution, YH, plus the particular solution, YP. And so this homogeneous solution right here is exactly what we have been doing in the previous several videos. Um, so to get YH, we look at the differential equation, YH double prime plus P of T, y h prime plus q of t y h is equal to zero so we drop the f of t we replace it with the zero and we solve this equation to give us our homogeneous solution so usually this is going to be um, a like an euler's equation or a constant coefficient equation like the ones that we've covered so this homogeneous solution is going to be of the form c1 times our first solution plus C2 times our second solution. So it's going to be a fundamental set of solutions that come from the homogeneous equation of our original equation. And then we're gonna take a look at the particular solution. So in order to get the particular solution, we are actually going to be solving the entire different equation this time. So we will be solving this equation. And the way that we're gonna do it is by assuming a solution form for our YP. So if you guys recall, for these types of solutions, the homogeneous equations, we always assumed a solution form for the, uh, the homogeneous equation. We always assumed the homogeneous equation was some solution of like e to the RT or T to the R or something like that, depending on what the actual differential equation was. So we are going to be doing the same thing for the particular solution, except for we're not gonna be assuming e to the RT or T to the R. We are going to be assuming something based on what f of t is. And we're gonna pick our yp uh, solution form in a way that's actually going to give us an answer. And so we will take a look at that uh, whenever we actually work out some examples. And we'll go through all the common examples and different methods that we are going to use in order to pick our yp form that we are going to assume. But really, we go about it the same way. We, take, we assume some, some arbitrary form, and then we differentiate it twice and we throw it back into our differential equation. And then by doing that, we are eventually able to find what our YP actually is. Just like we were able to find out what our R's were and find out what the homogeneous part was. So it's a very similar process into how we did the homogeneous part, but uh, just a minor variation because we're working with uh, the non-homogeneous part and we have to be a little creative on how we pick the form of our YP or particular solution. But anyway, don't worry, we will look through all the common examples. So you guys will be pros at this by the end. Um, and anyway, the last thing I wanna say is why do we need this particular solution and added together that? So why, why do we express it like, like this, our final answer like this? And the answer is uh, superposition. If we have a differential equation like this, there's f of t, this is the same thing as if I added on a zero. And since this is linear, then we can break this up into two differential equations. This guy for this zero part, and then this guy for the non-zero part. So that's why we solve them together, and the law of superposition tells us, okay, our final answer is going to be the homogeneous part plus the particular part. So anyway, that's just a brief introduction to show you what's going on so we can dive straight into some examples and uh, learn all that we need to know. Thanks for watching and see you guys later.